2023 millions of poor unemployed nigerians god and my structure says p2b welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen mr b session comes a few days after the all progressive congress vice presidential candidate kashim shetima berated him as a structureless candidate who cannot win election Labour Party presidential candidate for 2023 election, P2B says 100 million poor Nigerians, 35 million unemployed, and God are his structures. As he dismissed criticisms that, has, that he has no political structure to win election. I've said it before when people talk about structure, that my structure is the 100 million Nigerians living in poverty 35 million people employed unemployed those people who are finding it difficult to leave mr Obi told reporters in benway after holding a closed door meeting with governor samuel otum on wednesday nigerians today are spending over 100 percent of their money on feeding they are my structure and above all the most important structure is the almighty God, his trust. The video published by Channel Television on Thursday. Mr. B's session comes a few days after Kashim Shetima, vice presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, berated him as a structureless candidate who can only be president in his ethnic Igbo land. Since I joined the Labour Party, Mr. B, who is perceived as a better alternative to other candidates, has garnered much acceptance among Nigerian youth who call themselves obedient followers. Mr. B, a former Anambra governor, was slugged out with experienced politicians like Atiku Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party and former Lagos Governor Bola Tunambu of the ruling All Progressive Congress for Nigeria's top job in 2023. Well, and that is the truth. Everyone who is coming out now to support P2B is coming out not because he's from the Southeast, is coming out not because he's a Christian, is coming out not because he he has this experience, because that is even what there is to come argue to to to, to be written. Mm -hmm. They say that he does not have structure, that he does not yet that he does not have the experience you know, and some people are saying, or oh, the thing he's saying that some of that most of them are false. In fact, all of them are false. That is what they're saying. But he is coming out to say that look, it is not true. That he actually, you know, that he his structure is actually people. And if you look at it, it's actually true. It's true. What do you call structure? Structure is people who are ready to do something for a particular cause on your behalf. That is what it means. You know. And uh, believe me, when people who say he does not have structure, he, he's continuing his building. And uh, for now, I would also say to the opponent party, that is um, um, the All Progressives, the PDP, you know, another, and the NNPP, all of them should not, I mean, he, either of them should not even say, they should not underestimate any of the party, even the one that they refer to as Mushroom Party. Because anything is possible. Anything is possible. A lot can be done, you know. A lot can be done or too little can be done in this remaining, should I say seven, seven months that is remaining before the election day proper. Okay. Struggle struggle will yield no result to those that went to school, suppose I understand. But no, they're still wishing for election day to be told. Huh. The structure is growing by leaps and bounds. The whole country is obedient. From east to west, from north to south, everyone is obedient. That is why Tinubu brought Agbado bishops to his vice presidential villain yesterday. By the way, why is a candidate without structure giving those with structures sleepless night and nightmares? There is something about P2B they are not telling us. 
Why are People Democratic Party and the All Progressive Congress jittering? P2B has become a movement. Be an obedient citizen. Vote wisely. Vote P2B. And you'll be glad you did. So that is just it. And those who are, be, who are grieved about how Nigeria went from top to bottom. We are we in 2014. Eh? We were in 2014 when they came and tell us that we were in hell. They said that things will get better. They said that one naira as at the 200 and how many naira to a dollar then. That it was no, that is one naira to a dollar. That they can provide three million jobs each year, you know. It did us all those beautiful, you know, nothings. Just when you're, tr just like when you're trying to woo a woman, they say how those beautiful nothings and at the end of the day, you know, none of the promises you make to her is going to be fulfilled. So they, 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 they wooed Nigeria with those things telling us that we are not in a better place. Meanwhile, people are now saying, you know what, I don't even want to even go to anywhere better. Take me back to where I was before. That is what the people of Nigeria are coming out to. They are saying, we don't even want. Just take us back to where we You don't understand. When somebody don't tell you, say, this thing, so it go be. Meanwhile, um, maybe somebody told you about an investment. At the end of the day, that investment is not going to yield any result. You understand? You are just like, you know, just give me my money, just to make I go. I don't want, I don't want any money. You know, you don't want to hear that your capital don't, don't lose. You know, that is, that is it. So it is those who are grieved about how Nigeria is, how the economy is, how the fact that our children have been sitting at home, they have not been going to school. And meanwhile, you have been saying, it was not which day, Dino Milai went to visit his son who is abroad. Was it not this, this same period that, um, he's not Governor Wicke's son. I be which of them? All those politicians, the children have been graduating abroad. Why are children here, here sitting at home? None of them is actually graduating. None of them. None of them. Everybody is at home here. <laughs> Except those who are in private universities. So, Tunumbu, so Nigerians waiting for Tirumbo are not human beings. Tirumbo has the masses solid behind him and his party. The old progressive Congress still have massive structures all over the nation. So stop deceiving your global supporters. There is no single politician supporting P2B in Alhambra State, but almost everybody of note are complete are competing to identify with Jacobana and Lagos. Mm. It did not say that people who are supporting Tinubu are not human beings, so it is not. Okay. Okay, this is what he told Alhambra yet to leave them with two billion two billion dollars debt that's not true that's not true um but at the end of the day none of the poor or non-employed will be your cabinet nigeria politicians be their lies and no free food pro he never promised you he never promised you in nigeria and that is that uh, he never promised that he's going to put poor and unemployed he said he's going to fix people who wants to do the job the people who wants to do the job that means if you they're giving an appointment today the appointment is going to be based on your strength. It's going to be based on, let's say you are somebody who is a surgeon. You're going to announce you, a hospital. Who, uh, you know, you have the best in your field. Now you're going to get work. Normal. That thing is normal. But you see somebody in this Nigeria, in this current um, leadership or administration, person will not even get the idea of, uh, of surgery. They will carry best of surgeon or chief of surgeon. Give him. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for... To the need to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.